Guys, we are back. We are here with Forrest and Christian, and they're on the Hellgate Roller Derby organization. So they're not on the Hellgate Roller Girls team, but they're on the co-ed team. And so they're here to tell us all about that. So you guys, what's it like to be playing pretty much an all-female sport as dudes? Like, I feel like you've got to be pretty intimidated. I would be. It's definitely intimidating. Um, you know, our most, my background is, is refereeing, and so I'm used to kind of hanging out on the outside or uh, away from the action, and so this will be um, my first time playing with Hellgate on the track um, and being involved in the action instead of an observer. Sweet. And, and you guys have been working with uh, the Roller Girls in their practices and working on this big co-ed event that's happening this Saturday. Yeah, so as much as we can, <laughs> yeah. we have, I mean, we definitely don't have as much experience as I think any of the girls on the team, um, but yeah. we've been practicing as much as we can and getting ready and it's gonna be a lot of fun. That's awesome. And so, are you? Do you have a referee background too? Or? Yeah, I I moved when I moved here. I started refereeing. Uh, uh -huh. Landon taught me everything I know here, and um, then eventually I transitioned into coaching this year. So I am coaching the women's team with one other person right now, and also skating on the co-ed team. Cool. Yeah. That's awesome. And so, what does it take to be a roller derby? Yeah. Uh, <laughs> time. time. <laughs> skating skills initially are optional. Yeah. I, I didn't have any skating skills when I started refereeing. Um, you know, they, they, we will teach you how to skate. Um, if you come with skating skills, even if it's even if it's hockey, like uh, ice skating or rollerblading, like that helps. Um, some kind of coordination helps, but it's not mandatory. I had none. It's still arguable will I have it, whether yeah. I have any. Yeah. yeah, it's definitely time and skating skills and then like openness, I guess. Uh -huh. It's a really like accepting community, like all different types of people, like whoever you are, uh, there's definitely a place for you within the Hellgate Roller Derby. Definitely. Yeah. That's uh, awesome. really. I was talking to you guys earlier and you guys were talking about like there are a couple of male leagues in, a, in, a, in a, across across the United States. There's a, there's a, there's a, there's a few male, male leagues that are gearing up and getting going. So uh, what does it take for uh, like all male league to get started? I think a big part of it is a lot of support from the female league. Mm -hmm. um, every every men's derby league that I can think of has the the support and the the pushing from a women's league, uh, and they you know they're usually kind of brother sister kind of deal. They all get along and do stuff together um, because the there's just not the the infrastructure for men's derby without the infrastructure for women's derby. Um, that makes sense. So they really go hand in hand. Yeah, and so what do you think are some of your strengths and weaknesses as being like men coming into this women's league? You know, what do you have over the girls <laughs> or what do you have that the girls have over you guys? Um, I, you know, it's speaking in terms of what we have over the girls, like I, I, I can't think of anything as of right now. Um, for the two of us, I think maybe a good understanding of the rules okay. um, yeah. and like how to play the sport um, according to the rules. But I think overall experience is one thing that all of the women have over us and um, just like knowledge of how to use their bodies to like destroy another person. Yeah, yeah, no, they're tough. Like I'm scared for sure. I don't, I don't think yeah. I'm tough enough to be a roller girl. That's definitely something that's hard to learn is, yeah. is how to use your body in you know the, the legal ways and that's something they all have you know mm -hmm. most of them have years of experience and we're just sort of starting to figure it yeah. out so it's very, um, very different we're probably gonna look kind of clumsy out there i'm excited for you guys this is gonna be awesome so let's talk about the event that's coming up yeah. what can people expect um this saturday so around six five thirty six o'clock we'll have our juniors bout so they're gonna be playing against the great falls team um and that's ages 12 to 18, yep. 12 to 18, and so they'll be skating first, and then around 7.30, we'll get on the track, um, and we're going to be playing against a pickup team from kind of the Pacific Northwest, mostly Seattle, called the Co-Dead, um, so we'll be playing against the Co-Ed team as well. <coughs> cool. Nice. And is it just you guys? Are there more males on the team? There's two other men on the Hellgate team. Cool. Um, both also referees, so we all kind of have the referee background. Mm -hmm. um, we don't currently have any dedicated male skaters. Um, we're looking. Mm -hmm. Elgate, uh, you know, has been looking for a while. Um, so if there's any dudes out there interested in skating with Hellgate, we're definitely, definitely looking. And so, if there are, where can people get in contact with you guys? 
Um, yeah, on our website, uh, hellgaterollergirls.org, or on Facebook. Um, we respond to messages pretty quickly on Facebook. Uh, we have our practices, so we have a fresh meat practice on Monday and Thursday. And on Monday, I believe it goes from like 6.30 to, or 6 to 9, um, so we kind of like have a three-step practice, and then on Thursday, it's maybe from 7.30 to 9.30, I'm not 100% sure on the times, but we do have a schedule on our website, and any of those fresh meat practices, people are welcome to just show up, and we'll see if we can fit them with skates from our borrow bin. And, and we take people, uh, you know, we like uh, Christian said earlier, we are looking for people um, who want to be involved in Derby in any aspect. You know, we have off-skates officiating, uh, on-skates officiating, on-skates playing. Um, yeah, there's a place for everybody, nice. all the way That's down awesome. to, to 12 years old for the junior, junior team. Yeah, the roller derby seems like it's a really awesome community and really accepting and yeah. open. So that's pretty awesome. Nice. It is. Nice. Is there anything else you want to say? Come out on Saturday. Yeah, it's going to be a blast. Tomorrow. All right. We're yeah. having a lot of fun. Awesome. Well, thanks, you guys. Yeah. Thank you. Thank you.